Hello everybody and welcome back to another Civ 6 game. We've loaded up a random leader and we ended up with Menelik of Ethiopia. So Ethiopia is pretty busted. I'm pretty excited for this game if we can get a good start going. Ethiopia's bonuses are all about generating faith and using that faith to win uh, pretty much any sort of victory type that you're interested in. So you get science and culture equal to 15% of your faith, and this is exactly the same as the Void Singer bonus, and with Menelik you can stack both, which is amazing. You also get 0.5 faith per resource in your cities for international trade routes. That can add up pretty well if you get, like, uh, coastal cities tend to have, like, lots of fish and stuff, so... You get kind of like at least probably two faith from that, at least in most cities. Now, here's the big kicker. Improved resources provide one faith for each copy the city owns. Uh, and that also adds back into this bonus, right? So you can see the sort of feedback loop that we're going for as Menlik is we need faith. Faith gives us culture and science. And we can use that faith to buy more culture and... Uh, the next big bonus. I don't think the Aromo Cavalry is very good. So we're going to skip that and go to the Rock Hewn Church. So it's one faith and then one faith for every adjacent mountain and hill tile. And that goes back into your science and culture, right? Which is super powerful and it provides tourism from faith. So you can get like five tourism per tile here. They're better. I think they're better than Chimamools and Chateaus and other things like that. They also provide appeal, uh, which can be good, so really good, and can never be destroyed by natural disasters, which is also really, really solid. However, they cannot be built next to each other, right? They, they, they have that chateau problem where they have to be spaced out. Uh, so Minlik is really strong. If we're just being honest, Minlik is... Uh, Pretty, pretty, pretty strong. So we have loaded up uh, our standard game here. Deity, we have Barbarians, Heroes, Legends, Monopoly, the Secret Societies, all of those things turned on that I normally run. We're on a fractal map. And looking at our starter location, I mean, we got a pretty busted starting location. We have a seven yield tile right here in our capital starting area. This is a heal tile. So we're going to get uh, faith for that, or the, the bonus, the science and culture. Uh, that only happens to cities on hills. So pretty good there. What do we want to do with our starting warrior? I want to see, like, I want to see what's over here. If there's another source of cocoa over here, that would be, like, insane as a start position. So our capital has uh, one, two cocoa and a corn that we can see. And the two cocoa would give us, uh, what is that? One faith for each copy. So that's two faith here. And that would cycle back into this. If we look here, we don't have any faith per turn. So we're not getting anything there. But as soon as we get this improved, we will start seeing things. That means we're going to want to quickly move into uh, irrigation to get to that. But I want to get a holy site. Now, I don't think Ethiopia is supposed to be played like as a pure... Oh, that's too far out. Darn it. As a pure religion sieve. I think that's kind of a trap. I think your best is a cultural sieve. But getting holy sites is really important to boost your... Well, every other city. Or every other yield in your city. Wow, we really don't have a lot of good places for districts here, which kind of sucks. We have like a nice looking start, but we don't have anywhere to district off of. Ooh, Void Singers immediately. That's pretty good. I will get the Void Singers after we get some monuments built. We're going to go straight into Pingala here and start working through him. Hong Kong is there. There's more cocoa, but I'll never get to that cocoa in time. So I think we're going to go up this direction. I am a little worried. You know what? As 
I don't want to be that greedy. I want a slinger to protect myself because there's going to be barbs all through here. Keep this scout going this way to see what we can find. Another goody hut. That's great. That's fantastic. I definitely want to get a city down here somewhere to pick up this cocoa, right? Uh, and I also kind of want a city here. Uh, to pick up those resources. Bronze working being advanced is pretty chill. Because I don't think we're really going to get that otherwise too easily. So. There's Pachacuti. He could be a good like conquest target. This sort of terrain here is kind of the terrain you want to avoid. There's no hills here so i don't really get any bonuses for being there this is not a hill either huh if we look we're kind of in a pickle for settling locations because we don't have many hills we can settle on this but any city we put over here is going to be a little bit weaker because it's not going to get the science and culture yields that other cities would get. Because it's not going to be founded on a hill. Alright, so we have our first problem there that we're going to have to go deal with. And he's denouncing. He must be super close. Yep, there he is. Alright, we'll send this up. I do want to get a religion, so I'm going to need an early settler. And I am thinking that we settle that, that Jade City. Even if it doesn't get the bonuses that we want, we still need to be settling there. Just because a city is a city. Let's take faith. And you see that gave us science per turn. We went from 3.4 to 3.6. Kitukara. Okay, it's nice to know where he is. One, two, three. Wow, we can't even settle there, huh? This must be a giant coastline down here. Well, we're kind of in a... What well, looked like a really good start. Turned out to be not so great a start. Because we don't have any hills nearby. It's a lot of flat. There's one envoy. An envoy into Hong Kong might not be bad. Kind of want to wait because every envoy you put in a city state spreads their borders. And I would like to get my city down here first. Whoa, bro. I didn't realize you were a spearman. Uh oh, we gotta get away. We gotta back up. I don't believe in astrology. Maybe I can disperse. Disperse and run. Wow, warrior getting beat up by a sandstorm up there. That already sucks. A bit of a rougher start here than I was expecting. I do need ooh, Bologna. Having one there would be good. Spearman, Mysticism. I am going to get Mysticism, so that'll give us an early Suze. Okay, we're just going to have to. Hmm. Let's move up here. We're going to be dancing with that Spearman for a little bit. Just bring this warrior back. I'm going to be dancing around this guy because I don't want to lose. Well, that sucks. <laughs> really was hoping that that wouldn't happen. If I smack him, I think he still could possibly kill me. Yep. 
Yep, should have seen that coming. Well, he's gone. But I don't get the archery boost that I wanted, unfortunately. I kind of was hoping to be able to, to work that in. We'll give you forest and then have you run away. Get you back down here, send you over here, and maybe we'll buy up to that. I need to figure out where I'm going to put this holy site. And I think on the river tile is good enough. I don't really have much adjacency, I which is a problem. But I could get the government plaza in there with a bunch of other districts around, so that's pretty okay. As far as research goes, we want to go into irrigation and still be moving this way. There is a barb camp down here. We know that because that galley spawned. Ooh, there's so many science city-states in the game right now. That's pretty huge, in all honesty. Uh, that gives someone like the Inca a massive bonus here. Because they tend to go science. We need to get this down fast. So that I can start using my production on more important things. Like barbarian protection. And since we have two holy sites probably on rivers, it might be worthwhile for us to go for something like River Goddess as our pantheon. Divine Spark also would be pretty good in this situation. Nobody is making profit points currently. I think we're going to transition into working on a builder here. So we can improve this tile. And I need to sort of deal with this. Uh, where? Well, this is pretty good. I might have a monopoly on Coco. Let's check the resource tracker. We can't check this early. Okay, well, if I go settler, are you a hill tile? You're not a hill tile, right? No. Are you a hill tile? I think you are. We could go here. I don't know if settling on it kills it for the city bonus. I don't think that it would, though. That's not normally how that sort of situation plays out. Skill without imagination. Okay. Well, that's in that's interesting. It's important to know about it. And I can go ahead and I can purchase a shrine pretty soon. And that would give me a major leap forward. As far as science and various things. Oh, there's Herc. Oh my god. Hercules does change things. Instead of purchasing, we're going to purchase a monument. Get off of this, bro. Go into a slinger for protection. Yeah, there's Coco over here too. I want to make sure that we get, rid of, we get a hold of that. And at 240, we need to buy a monument. Yeah. Yeah. At 240, we buy a monument and build Herc. We're so close. There's the Great Bath. Thousands have lived without. Come over here. Work on 
a shrine for right now. Oh, there's more cocoa over here. That's a problem. Okay. I actually didn't want to find that cocoa. We'll send you here because we're really close to this. Next turn we'll purchase, then build, send over here. Okay, so we purchase, we change this to Hercules, and we go forward. Great people, we're still ahead of the pack currently, but that could go away any minute. Three turns. Wow, what a bad city, bro. You madman. He wants that. Alright, well, we're gonna have to trade him. No, he doesn't want it. He's gonna purchase that and make me so mad. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. I need money. Which means I need to find somebody. Well, River Goddess is pretty good because we kind of have housing issues. Divine Spark would also be pretty sick. Divine Spark's kind of like always good. I think we're going to go Divine Spark. I mean, always we go Divine Spark. It's just great people influence the game in a, in a powerful way. And Divine Spark gets great people. How could you not go for Divine Spark? That gives us two great profit points per turn, but that'll soon update into three because we'll have uh, a holy site built in Soto. After you build this, you're gonna build me another settler to come down here. All right, my man. You don't have to come after me that hard, Barb Camp. We are going to transfer you into Soto. I still want to purchase. I don't have enough. So I guess we're going to come over here. Oh, there's even more cocoa over here. Now that's an issue. I thought I was going to have the uh, Monopoly on it, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. What are you talking about letting them run amok? I am actively killing them. And they're actively killing me. I mean, it did take me a little while to be active about it, but... We didn't just, you know, say, Oh no, we love the barbs. We, we started murdering them pretty quick. I'll send Herc up there to deal with them. I kind of want this guy down here finding out more about what's happening over here. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty safe to say we have some barb issues. Uh, there, we have problems. There being, there being problems. If I can't get this next turn, he's a dead man. I think we go monument because we do want to get void singers soon ish we don't want to delay them that much i think i can get at least one more a strong economy begins with us maybe one more district out of hercules dead dead barbarian okay we can buy this 90 crap buy my stuff just i don't ah buy my stuff then we purchase okay and then we use this to purchase we'll purchase a shrine to give us even more faith faith does like faith does 
accumulate into other resources for us, right? So, or, hear me out here, this might be crazy, purchase this monument, build Maui, and hopefully we can get Maui faster than 26 turns, because I can't undo that, because that's what we went for. Uh, point the Void Singers here. That's even more faith that we're going to be getting. And if we look here, you can see that we're getting almost a whole science from faith, almost a whole culture from faith. So it adds up. I mean, it doesn't sound like much right now. Like, ooh, one, I know. But over time, this is going to start adding up really quickly. It's one more than I would have had otherwise. As soon as this settler is done, we're gonna pop him down here and and get the shrine down there. A city over here is gonna be important. We're kind of just following the Coco is what we're doing. Uh, I really can't. I think I'll I'll take the small hit there. For an improvement over time. Come here, disperse this. Finally, that's gone. And have Hercules hanging out until we can get more cities down. Uh, how do we look on the religion front? Somebody has more than us, which is not uh, desirable. But eight turns and we'll have a religion. So... Maybe we go for this. Try to get a Golden Age that way. Try to get a Monumentality Golden Age eventually. As for this, I think we're going to go into Archery is the ultimate goal there. Mysticism would be nice. I mean, that gives us something. We're going to go here because... If you look at our faith, we have one from resources, and if we go improve this, we'll have even more from resources. There's no hills to build on over here. Right now I have one city benefiting from the faith thing. You're way over here. Yeah, who cares about you? Now you can start auto exploring. I don't want to deal with you anymore. <laughs> so we're going to get this slinger coming down here. I want you settling here. And then another settler coming down here, probably here in this region. How many turns do you have left? 23. That's plenty of time. Yep, I knew there'd be a barb camp right here. I need to protect myself from I'm fond of pigs. I like to say I practice these. militant mysticism. I don't think they'll kill me. I think we transfer you here to protect ourselves from this galley. Do we settle on horses? That's sick. Okay, cool. And as far as government goes, I got nothing worth trading into right now. Keeping an eye on the profit race. 11 per turn. Oh, somebody just finished. A, somebody must have just finished a uh, project. Archery. And then early empire. I think we want to start moving into places that give us science. I feel like I'm more likely to get a uh, Spearman than a Campus anytime soon. You hang out. Smack you. That gives me a promotion. This is Coast. Right here. It has to be since this spawned a galley. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. That's a cliff. Yeah. Two galleys is a little unfortunate. It's a little uncomfortable. 
I, th I guess we'll put the holy site here. I shot Wait. an arrow into the Okay. Here. Now that we have all of that done, I'm thinking some archers for defense are going to be important. I'm playing super greedy right now. Playing super greedy with my cities. Azamet top kapudan ben Süleyman Kaiser Rüm selamımızı ihsan ederiz. You know, I don't think I've played with Mutasem uh, uh, Suleiman yet. So it's an honor to meet you, bro. Down here, he's down here. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. Uh, that gives me conditioning their windows were shut that gives me bonuses for settlers now if we look here at faith plus four from resources so that doubled it's two each right what is it resources provide one faith for each copy the city owns so this is providing me with two faith and two faith because the city owns two of those resources this would be one faith from this. Yeah, so that would be two, four, five faith total once I improve everything. And you guys know how I love to play. I am faith all the way. So it is nice. Getting our government is also going to be nice. And another city somewhere over here. I wish there were hills that I could settle. That would be nice, but, you know, not happening, unfortunately. Nine science. A lot of that is coming from Addis Ababa having faith. One from faith. You can see that this doesn't have that because it's on a flatland tile. Which sucks. Super unfortunate. When we, when we settle here, we'll see if it says one from resources. If it does, that means we're, we're, we're golden. That's dead. We also have our religion here. I'm going to go bronze working. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Gone. One turn, basically. We almost didn't get this religion. Now, is that the end of the line for uh, Ethiopia? No, I don't really think so. Ethiopia works well just by having faith. You don't need necessarily the religion. Just the faith is good enough. But a religion helps every game. Wilhelmina. I hate Wilhelmina in my games. She's someone I never really like to see. Uh, let's take your friendship. Thank you. I have extra luxuries. You'll pay me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think we'll use that to purchase an archer here next turn. And we'll use Hercules to kill this barb camp. Just king, king. Yeah, there's no mountains for me to settle by, so uh, Pachacuti ought not to hate us. Oh no! Oh, ah! Oh. Ah, uh, how many turns do you have left? That was stupid. Okay, you've got turns, but still, that was stupid. I would like an obelisk. I would also like to do this. Put you down. And have you begin work on a builder. I'll purchase the obelisk, maybe. We'll see. Here, the dark brown amorphous Giant's basalt. Causeway. Who? Nobody. Nobody has a Nazi. 
Anansi might be like a big pickup to clean up these extra odd Cocos that I don't own myself. So that actually might end up being super worth. No, I don't think I'll give you that for that. I don't think that's going to work for me, Wilhelmina. I, in creating a I apologize, lake. but I don't think that that's a deal that I want to make. Transfer here. And then you purchase an archer here. That gives us more faith. That's great. Uh, so if we look at Addis Ababa, we're getting 1.3 from Faith. So like we haven't built any f like science stuff and we're keeping up fairly decent. Oh, look at this. What is this? There's no heal. But what is this? Look at this. This might be the largest number of iron tiles uh, I've seen grouped together. Okay, weird. Strange. Okay, uh, we're gonna tap you. And as far as technology goes, I think we need to start working this direction. I don't want to pop this down until I get this holy site built. I don't necessarily think that that galley's gonna kill us. But I'll double up on archers over here just to be safe. I think maybe building Maui was a mistake. Maybe we could have spent our points in a better way, our resources in a better way. Maui's been very expensive. And I don't know if he's going to pay off in a way that I need him to. Well, that's three. No, he has one more charge he can use. What are we going to do with that extra charge? I don't think we'll get a city off. Oh, there's... Look at that. Okay, so what do we want? Oh, we're Ethiopia, so we're going to go Lion. And we're going to go... I don't know. Leonism. No. Uh. Hmm. Simba. Okay. What do we have? May purchase. We can already do this. Holy sites provide production. I don't have real adjacency. So relics and heroic relics provide faith and tourism is what we're going to go for. And I think. Okay, so this, 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 all of these are good. Cross-cultural dialogue, world church, and tithe. All are pretty good right here. I think tithe is so much more flexible, which is nice. Uh, but both of these are really good. I think we're going to go world church this game. I don't often go for this one. So that should shoot us up in culture a little bit. Pachacuti is friendly. Let's declare friendship with you. What? You turned me down? Huh. You're green. That's a bad sign. That's an uncomfortable sign for us. That's not good. I think I need to start chopping down some of these uh, 
rainforest tiles. Politics is the art of the Ooh, let's go for classical republic. And we'll go for production towards builders. Uh two influence points per turn. And I would like to go for settlers. Disperse this bad boy. And that's got seven turns left. It's going to take him a few turns to go across. Maybe I have to chop that. Maybe I should consider chopping that. That's another population. That's pretty sick. And I do think Anansi is going to have to be considered... We'll chop over here. I need to chop this out. Because I want to use Hercules to get one more one more build charge out of him. Maybe a Rocky and Church here is gonna be pretty good. In here. Sleep. Sleep. And we'll see what we can get with Maui. We'll just go ahead and move. That is a terrible city. That's such a bad city. There is no goodness in that city. Okay. Uh, get you in the city to heal. Keep moving you up. And we'll chop. And we'll figure out where we're going to put the holy site. Honestly, maybe a uh, river goddess was worth it this one game. Because I've got so many river-based uh, holy sites. I also kind of want to save this guy for a rock hewn church. Because, like, if look at this. If we put you down, it's plus seven faith. Think about how sick that is. What if we put one right down here? No, not that. This. Plus five. None of these can be one. So we put this right here. Plus seven. Think about that. Think about how good that is. Look at how ridiculous that is. That's pretty trash. No lie. I was hoping for something better, but... Beggars ain't gonna be choosers here. We'll move this up and put one here and buy it so we have more resources in this city. Uh, I want all of these resources to go to this city. He's got eight turns left on him. You got two. I could move him here and chop. It saves me a turn, builder-wise. We're going to go for another settler to try to get something out over here. If we look, I mean, I really, I think, I think we go for a city here. But he's not going to be benefiting from the hill bonus at all. It's too flat over here. I'm not going to get the hill bonuses. We can't depend on every single city having that bonus, though, so... You know, we, we take what we can get. Maybe we'll go invade Ethiopia at some... Or not, In Inca at some point, I mean. I would say that this is a better city spot. And I think... I'll put... I think we can afford to slurp this up for a holy site. One, two, three. One, two, three. It gets this, but it doesn't get this. But I can't settle on this. Oh, 
fuck do I want you to do? A shrine. Keep pushing my faith output to its maximum. Uh, I'll take your delegation. I'm hoping he doesn't, like, start thinking about plotting on me. A man on a horse is spiritual. Three turns until we get our rock hewn church. And how many turns until the era is over? Quite a bit. So in three turns, we're definitely going to hit a golden age. A monumentality golden age, hopefully. But what can I use that monumentality golden age for? For settling through here. I mean, that is fair. I can do that. Darn it, Maui. You're supposed to be better than that. Keep Maui over here just to use his inventions all through here. And obelisk time here, because if we look here, we are getting... We're on a hill. We're not producing any faith in this city, so we're not getting any of those bonuses. You sleep. Next turn you go down. And once I get that relic, Addis Ababa is gonna be sick. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna start going off. Now if we look here, we're getting one, and then from faith point one. It's not very much, but it is a start. It is something. It's something. And then we can get a rock hewn church here. Uh if we go boom, boom. Rockin' church. Boom. Not there. Put it here. Boom. Boom. Seven. Plus seven faith. It's not bad. I just want Maui to keep on trucking. You know, that's... Decent. That's pretty decent, actually. Oh, I need to get this one. So we're going to have to sell the cocoa. Uh, purchase you. Now, my capital, once I improve this and this, that's going to be an insane amount of faith from resources. And my city states are gonna, or not my city, my my trade routes are gonna go off. Seventy. So one turn. He's got four turns left. So I just kind of barely made it in there. The poets have been missed. Uh, let's move you to get some defenses over there. We're gonna have to chop that. Build you. Blam. That's a golden age. And that's plus seven faith on that tile. Which means that we're getting three culture, three science from faith so far in this capital city. But we got no food. We're going to have to deal with that. That's an issue. Can't. I, I need to buy this. So I can't actually put that down yet uh let's wake up sunshine boom hit you now it comes over you're gonna need to build a granary because i need food i don't have enough food in this area because it's all mountains or not mountains it's all hills so we're gonna struggle to grow our capital theology is gonna be pretty great Work on that old god obelisk. Yeah. Uh, we've got quite a bit of faith banked up. We're going to use that to buy settlers to come out through here. Any sort of hill tiles we can put anything down on would be the best. I kind of want Hercules to die somewhere where I can get... Uh, 
a good chance at getting his relic. Who do I want to put in? I didn't get a spearman yet. But I could in just a little while. I am going to need more builders. But soon it'll be the next era. I can get plenty of builders then. Let's pop you down. So looking here now, eight faith. We're getting one science off of that faith. And I mean, I haven't built any particular science buildings and we're doing a decent enough job of keeping up on the science front. Corn. That kind of sucks. I didn't get in. Did I get? I got one luxury resource from that. Just one luxury resource out of that. I kind of want you coming and exploring and killing things. Did my settler die? Not my settler, my scout. My scout must have died. No, he's up here. That's kind of a weird map generation. Okay. Granary is going to be important here. This is going to give me seven tourism later in the game. Uh, fortify. One turn on that, seven turns, four turns, and then we can buy out. Oh, buddy. Don't we do what I think you're planning hours. to do. That would be unwise. Now, actually, it'd be really smart, but I, I, I'd be mad. Because I got nothing I can do about it. If he attacks me, there's just nothing I can do. It's just dungeon rings. There's another suzerainty. I should have saved that because I got nothing I can do with it right now because I don't have any libraries. I could always put a campus here. Здравствуйте. There's Peter. He must have gotten the. He must be the one that was getting all those profit points. Of course, he's in the game. I hate him so much. My least favorite person to see in every single game. I am making tons of gold. I have these monopolies. That's what's going on. Wow. If we look at the resource tracker, uh, not turtles, where's Coco? Yeah. But there's more Coco about. And it would take me a long time to get a Nancy. Because I already have two heroes. Hmm, that's gonna suck. He looks like he might be going for Hong Kong, ultimately. And I'm okay with that, to a degree. This is the hill city over here. There's more hill cities down here. And another city somewhere over here. So we're going to need to get Magnus, I think, somewhere. We haven't built a single campus, right? And we're not doing horribly. We don't have a single theater square. There goes Hercules. We look here, we're making 27 faith per turn out of this city, which equates to four science, four culture, which is essentially a good, well-placed campus, right? So that's pretty solid. That's pretty good. Keep you moving this way. 
production. Hmm. We don't have many like districts I want to be placing and building. I'm gonna need to put down theater squares, I know that. I kind of want to go for a culture game, but I really don't have like... Yes, there we go. I really don't have like a clear inclination of how I'm going to go for culture. I haven't spread out enough. He's got a lot of units. He's going for Hong Kong, which is my boy. I lost Bologna. I don't like that he's going for Hong Kong. I really don't. I kind of want the Ancestral Hall, because in so many turns we're going to have settlers. Governor, can't do anything about you. Let's appoint you into Lalabella. No, Dire Dawa, because we're going to be chopping out of there probably. And I need to be finding more Governor titles to get to Provision. When I get to provision, it's going to be, actually, I do want Magnus to go to Lalabella. Because this is closer to where I'm settling. I won't be chopping out of here for a little while, so it's okay if we're a little slow. can't wait until we get this all sorted out over here too because that'll be so much faith but this city isn't going to benefit from that faith so actually i i kind of want like i would rather this go to this because this city's not on a hill it won't benefit i should have settled this one over yeah i made a mistake i should have settled this one more over because Addis Ababa could have dealt with all of this iron. Ah, uh, that's actually a huge costly mistake. Because that would have been 2, 4, 3, 6, 9 faith per turn off of this. And now it's just 2, 4, 4 faith per turn. That's a 5 faith per turn swing that I lost. Wow. Ugh. Suboptimal there. I should have thought that through. But that's what I get for playing fast. That's how I do it. I always make those mistakes. If you want to get better, take your time. Be slow. Think about what you're doing. It looks like uh, Suleiman's army is just going to die on the walls of Hong Kong. I've lived through some I really don't think he's going to go through. Imagine if this was a hill. 369. Imagine. 2, 4. 9 plus 4. Ugh. Imagine how good that would have been. So frustrating. You go for an old god obelisk. And I think a harbor here would be nice. I would prefer this going to this city. And we'll do that just to get resources. Promote into provision. And we need to find the next governor title that we can pick up, which is defensive tactics. So we'll be going here and we'll use that to get the void singers bonus. Actually with the void singers, now that I'm factoring in the Void Singers 369, this would actually still be good here because it's going to this, it, it will be factored in with the Void Singers. But still, overall, probably would have been better in Addis Ababa. I want this repaired. Uh, mmm. 
we will need uh theater square at some point uh and we do want to purchase these if possible 125 on that one because this is a really sick uh rocky and church right plus seven i think that's the max we can get isn't it plus one faith so that's one and plus one for every adjacent tile and these are hexagons, so yeah, this is the max we can get. You can see how splashable and spammable these things are. Because faith is just the best resource in the game. Having more faith is always going to equate to being very good. Faith is the best resource in the game because it's so flexible. Uh, he's a religious boy too, huh? Uh, yeah. Heck yeah, bro. Excuse me. Shut up, Peter. You jerk. I am going to have to, like, actually start focusing on science at some point. So I'm going to need campuses and stuff. At some point. But what point? We go campus theater square. But that sort of cuts me out of having any like wonders connected to that theater square. We go campus theater square. That leaves us something there. Maybe that'll be fine. 1000 faith per turn banked up right now. And actually, we are all apprentices and people who cannot find time for recreation. Actually, it might be good to get that. Thirteen fifty. That's just like two turns, three turns away. So if we work on getting that, we could probably throw down the oracle. That might be spicy. That might be something that we play around with. I do want to get some trade routes rolling. Again, don't think I'm going to lose this. But it might be smart to come over. It's good to finish that off. Uh, Pachacuti has declared war on Leventa. Stop trying to take my city-state, my man. I like that city-state. Let's actually do this. We're making tons of gold. My god. The gold that we're making here. But I did lose my monopoly. It's something I need to, to keep in mind. Let's come down here. And we're almost done with this episode. I think we'll be done as soon as the era ticks over. I'm still thinking of just picking this guy up. Putting down possibly the Oracle. I don't have Marsh. I do have Blood. Do I have the production for Adam and Nanki? 220 production. Grants 215. Oh yeah, that's what we're going for. That's the stuff right there. Adam and Nanki in this city is going to be really big. Because there's so many floodplains here. Hopefully I can get that next, next episode. Alright, you know what it's going to be... It's monumentality time! Boom! Alright, we're not going to be able to use that monumentality straight away, however, because we are going to be buying 
faith uh, based great peoples. I do need to keep my religion alive as well, so I'm going to have to worry about buying all that faith. But everybody, one hour long for the first episode here. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you're hyped like I am for this Mimelik series. I always have fun playing as Mimelik. I think he's really good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.